All right. Well, we're here today to get right to it and talk about what the role of family is at Bhakti Fest. I know you've done an incredible job at creating a place for families to come to, and this has ebbed and flowed since Bhakti Fest started in 2009. But this year, can you give a little incentive in a, a visual way about what's possible for families with young children and how is their safety and ease for them at the event this year? We really want more families to come out and feel safe at our environment. That's why we established a no smoking and no drinking policy. And it's actually all vegetarian. We have 15 great food vendors. We have a beautiful kids land, for example that's decorated really nice with carpeted inside of bushes and stuff like that. It's very intriguing. And in there, we teach yoga for the kids. We teach musical instruments for them. The future is obviously with our children, you know, and they're going to have to live with all our mistakes coming up, especially with the environment and the climate change and, and the corporate dysfunctionality and things like that. So, the more time we spend with them outside of the daily routine, which is kind of taxing for us, you know, because it's the same thing every day. Get up, go to school, blah, 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 come home, do your homework. These kids are living under a very stressful environment. Not necessarily at your home, but once they go out, the peer pressure, the school pressure, the stress, they're so tight, they're so wound up. And then the rest of the time is spent here because they don't know what else to do. So they are all on their techno stuff, on their phones, texting and this and that constantly, right? Yeah. So that opportunity for the parents really is to create a foundation of, of a regular spiritual practice for the future of the child that they can live into and to see behaviors modeled that exhibit clean living and yoga teachings and it's it's up to the parents to set the example of course with everything we need to be the person we're talking about just go inside just go deeper inside your own meditation and your own side and, and develop your own true heart space and your love and your compassion that you can then reach out to your mate and share that with them and they say, oh, wow, I want some of that. It's so beautiful. You're so sweet. Right? And then the kids look at that. And then everybody gets into it. And that's how we build nuclear spiritual family. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. And parents, if you haven't already made your decision, I hope you'll consider it. I'm Meredith Sassine here with Yoga News TV. And this is Sridhar. And we're so delighted you're here. If you'd like to visit and find more information about Bhakti Fest, you can find them in social media and also on the web. So here's to you and here's to a great Bhakti Fest. <laughs>